Warning. The following game is rated mature and contains content not suitable for younger viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everyone and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. On the last episode, we uh, headed back over to uh, a Gadara port to see what we could do there now that we've uh, done a first lap around the Badlands area and cleared most of the stuff we could do there. Uh, we headed over to the bar and talked with Reyes, who told us that uh, his ex, the person that is the his ex-business partner and ex-girlfriend, uh, is selling some stuff over at some place. We have to go head over there. Ooh. <laughs> uh, we also helped A. Angara find her missing sister. Unfortunately, her missing sister was a corpse, so that didn't help my soul. Uh, Cadis, uh Sloan Kelly's second in command wanted us to search for some cat that might still be on Kadara, which made me feel, have we seen any cat? I don't think we have. Uh, but one thing we did was we completely forgot about the entire top left area of the map. So we headed off over there, found that in Garn Relic, which turned it to be some sort of musical instrument. And while we were on our way there, we got an SOS. So we headed over to where the SOS was. Turns out it was just a couple of people, uh complaining about a uv light that went out luckily because we had picked up a uv light from that one base that i had uh that one base i thought was very suspicious we managed to solve their problem almost immediately and they gave us a uh some medicine <laughs> although the 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 quest that that's for is broken so we can't really do anything with it so on this episode we have two things we can do uh, we have that mission dealing with the cat over here, and we have the mission dealing with Sloane's ex over here, the rival smuggler. So we're going to go with this one first. Yeah. Also, I don't know if you can hear it currently, but there is a huge thunderstorm happening outside, which is why when I went, oh, because I, th I think my lights flickered for a bit, so I'm gambling right now <laughs> how long will this how long will i be recording for before it gets corrupted because the all the power goes out why did i even jump back in this i could have warped straight here <laughs> i'm looking at the radar and it doesn't bode well for what what's going on outside because if it's this hard and we're only in like dark green Everything around me is currently yellow or worse, so it, it's only going to get worse from here. It's fine, though. This is like the first big storm we've had. Okay, it is above me? Looks like we missed the meeting. Let's look around. Maybe Zia left something behind. Or there's that giant eye rock over there. I thought there was gonna be like a t like a like a cave thing or something. Up. Oh. Think I found something. Looks like a wire. Wire goes all the way over there. Where does it connect to over here? Oh, that very conspicuous looking gate door? Okay. Oh, okay, where do you drop in from? Dar just been dealing with the wildlife. I feel like I've dealt with more wildlife than I've dealt with uh Raiders and Ket. Once again, I'm still pretty sure I haven't dealt with Ket at all on this planet. I did see this container. Don't want to forget that. What's that? This is what the wire is connected to. Here goes nothing. Your curiosity is going to get us killed one day. But not today. I didn't know Ryder was part cat. I do always land on my feet when I fall like that. 
And I could have nine lives. Who knows? I technically have died once. Success. It's open. Oh, this is this. I thought this was a door. Door. It's just a gate blocking something. All right. Reyes, I found a data pad with what looks like a nav point. Must be where Zia is hiding the cargo. Probably left that behind for the buyer. Whatever happened to just going to a store? Sloan takes a cut from all official sales in Kadara. Gotta get creative if you want to go around that. Did you find anything on your end? The Salarian is a fence. No direct connection to the collective. My guess is Zia met him to find potential buyers. Let's follow up on those coordinates. I'll meet you there. Hyrox still hasn't noticed me. That's probably good. <laughs> That's probably real good. Okay. Ah, oh, well. Well. Is that the base I think it is? That's not the base I think it is. Oh. <laughs> Either I blinked and it was long time, or the lights did flicker again. It's not this base. This base is for something that happens later on. I don't know why I keep on thinking this is. I think I remember what this base is for. There's another base over here. Where's that other building we found? It's like around here somewhere as well. A shuttle. Could be Zia's. I got multiple things shooting at me. And they're both wildlife. Alright, Vetra, jeez. Vetra just standing next to it and fully automatic loading into it. Well, that is currently running. It's on. I wonder if Reyes is already here. Hold on. Just in case you get, like, get warped anywhere. Let's take a look around the premises, see if we find anything unique. Or pick upable. Or scannable. I have my, uh, my thing hasn't gone off. Monsters respawn? Oh, there's an Iraq way over there. Is this? Good thing we looked. I'm hearing growling. Is it just the Iraq? Oh. Let's go inside. Although looking inside that window, it looks kind of abandoned. Don't get that open. Hold on. Look around for some clues. The first thing. There's a lot of ammo in here, which is concerning. Now they get the computer. No extra containers. All right, Reyes. It's empty. What if this was all just some elaborate trick to get you here? You mean, there was never any cargo? Bravo. I knew you'd figure it out eventually. Zia. You could never resist the big payout. What can I say? I'm a greedy man. That's why you don't have any friends. You're selfish. She has you there. Ouch. You must be losing your touch, Reyes. I remember you being such a smooth talker. Right up until you dumped me. Don't tell me that's what this is all about. Of course not. You've been taking all the good jobs in Kadara. 
It's gotten more than my attention. So what? The local smuggling union got together and decided to take me down? Something like that. Ah, oh, shit. Move in. Oh, well, there she goes. Who was that raider looking at? Who's still left? Someone's still... How'd they get behind us? I missed. I love how I hit every button there. Hey, raider! Oh, no more smuggling for you, huh? Selling Kadara return to the Tempest. Ooh, that's new. I guess I did all the jobs I needed to do with helping Reyes. Speaking of which, Reyes. I knew I wasn't popular, but I never thought the other smugglers would team up against me. Kind of flattering, actually. They might try again. Undoubtedly. But it's harder to kill a man who knows you're gunning for him. Ah, all that effort and no credits to show for it. Story of my life. <laughs> you and me both. Hmm. I should clean up this mess. Zia was a piece of work, but it feels wrong to leave her out in the open. Hey, I mean, I could have chosen the other thing too. Less competition. But competition usually helps. Alright then. We helped we helped uh, we helped Reyes with this problem. Now we gotta go deal with another problem. Potential cat sightings. I feel like if we do this one we'll have uh Will I have to return to the Tempest? I guess I have to return to the Tempest to get the 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 settlement here off the ground, which means I have to go off the ground. Warp here. Yeah, just been wildlife out outcasts collective, and then still need to take care of Kytus's cat stragglers. Well, we're working on that, and uh. But I saw something weird, but I think it was just the reflection of some water. Did I mark it? I did not mark it. I'm heading the right way, though. Even if I'm just ignoring the path. Did we deal with this before? Oh, I got landmines again? The heck is this? I, it won't let me open this container. That's weird. I hate the landmine beeping. Cause I'll always notice it too late. Well, this was just a giant waste of time. I couldn't actually pick up the thing that was in there. All right, let's get out of here before we run over another landmine. I okay, I hit B instead of X again. The cave we're heading to is above us. Nasty crash. Any survivors? Oh, 
Oh wow, you actually lived. Who? Who's there? Hamash, is that you? Don't talk. We'll get you back to town. No, oh, I can't move. It it's too late. I just want to rest. As who owns. He's right. I don't think we should move him. Can you tell me what happened? It it was the cat. Took us by surprise. They killed everyone. John lasted the longest. They didn't know I was still alive. I saw them raiding our packs. Then they... They took off into the hills. What's in the hills? Is there a cat base there? There's nothing in the hills. I don't... We've never heard of a base. Sloan says Kadara is free of cats. <laughs> what did the cat take from you? I... Uh, I don't know. Supplies, weapons, scavenged ship parts. I'll leave you to rest. Thank you. I... I wish... Kytus is Ryder. Your Ket rumors have weight. Just found a caravan they attacked. Damn it. Really thought we got them all. One of the wounded said they headed for the hills. I'm going to check it out. I'll search too. Grabbing a shuttle now. Well, he seems to be just—he seems to be still alive for the moment, but not much longer. And Garn made spacecraft. This is an Garn spacecraft. It's very similar to. Alliance space shuttles. Also, the SH3 in English. <laughs> Would have been the hills, huh? Where are the hills? Oh, like right in front of us. Okay. Footprints. Cat tracks. They're leading up into those hills. Next to another body. Oh, I saw some minerals behind me. Oh well. There's a there's an opening right there. Tracks. We're going the right way. Every time. <laughs> Every time. One of these days I'll remember the buttons. More tracks. Can't be far now. There just happens to be a giant cave here. Look, a cave. Wanna bet our ket are inside? Kytus, think I found something. Sending the nap point. Don't land in my nomad. I kinda need my nomad. The cat base set up a the cat set up a building like this? Impatient, are we? Sloan, I wasn't expecting you. She wouldn't take no for an answer. I'm not about to let someone else fight my battles. Especially an initiative lapdog. I'm not selling him out. No, 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 no. No snitching. You were happy enough to have this lapdog track down information for you. That's what dogs do. Fetch. Enough. Let's get this over with. 
You're such a grump when you're worried. Every second you're gone from the port is an opportunity for the Collective. The Pathfinder and I can have... What was that? They know we're here. Get ready. Ow! Oh, look at this cat. Also... Also, Sloane stopped by. I guess she's helping. Go away. Can't these railings be broken? They sure can. Where, where? How did I miss that? Annoyed to just fall over. Okay, auto lock on. Why'd you push me away from him? There we go. Ooh, they're very far over there. Ooh, Unity armor five for my arms. Ooh, that might be good. What kind of what kind of armor do I have in my arms right now? We should explore this place a little bit more. How big is this cave? Especially if we're gonna find goodies like this. Oh, yum, sludge. Okay, the cave ends over here. So, that was weird. What about the other direction? <laughs> also, did Sloan and Kydus just peace out? Now they're waiting for us over there. But there's nothing on the logs about them helping us right now. Or that we need to go talk to them. We just need to head back to the Tempest. This also ends right here. Oop. I think that's everything that we can find. Good work, team. Oh, okay, hold on. <laughs> Not yet. I think that's the last of them. Let's get rid of the bodies. I'll leave you to it. Manual labor isn't my thing. <sighs> of course it's not. I'll have your payment sent to the Tempest. Oh, and, uh, oh, never mind. She, she didn't warp away. Yeah, I'm just here to do fetch quests. I think that is actually now it. Let's take a look. I gotta go return to Jin. You gotta give his message. We'll do that, then we'll return to the Tempest. Because we'll finally have finished everything here that we can. I want to get the base set up this episode, but I don't know if I'll have time. Okay, I'm refreshing, I'm refreshing the current map of the radar. Let me see. Where am I at right now? Oh, sweet. Dead center in front. Uh, oh, the red passed. Oh, but there's more red on the way. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, the good news is episode's still going on. So it hasn't, my power hasn't gone out yet. Bad news? Yet. <laughs> All right, Jim, I know you're the most important character in this game, so I have to give you this message. Any 
anything else here? Just Jim's message. Liam? Did you find Sheila? Was she worried? I'll be nice. I'll be nice. I delivered your message, but Sheila's happy at Tartarus. Oh, so she, she wasn't worried? Focus on getting out, Jim. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll have for some experience. Did I read this terminal? I sure did. I'm sorry about him. But he's not my responsibility. <laughs> uh, Alright. Since we're already here, Tempest is right there. Let's go see what... uh. Go see what we can do to settle Kadara. What's up, Ryder? Why an emergency meeting? I didn't call it. I did. Got some disturbing news while we were on Kadara. There's some tension at the Krogan colony on Eladin. It's bad. Tension among Krogan? You don't say. I wouldn't waste your time with this if it wasn't important. We need to go. I agree. Nakmor Morta made herself overlord of the colony. It's weird. No. Our priority is the Archon. We have to remain focused on his next move. Jal's right. I know dealing with so many unknowns is frustrating, but we need to hear each other out. Well, as long as we're pitching stuff, I overheard outlaws on Kadara talking about activity in the Ramav system. No, that's the system where the Turian Golden World was supposed to be. Ramav? There aren't any viable planets there. Only an asteroid field with mining ventures run by criminals. I hear Elodin's pretty rough too. Roving scavengers with nothing to lose. Perfect. Because if there's one thing I do know about, it's fighting pirates. But now that we have the transponder, we're so close to finding the location of Archon's ship. Our goal is to create our home here. You never know how something might fit in. Anyway, get Kala the nav points for both Elodin and that potential Turian Golden World. We want all our options ready to go. Hey, I didn't say dismissed or meeting adjourned or anything. Meeting adjourned as you were. Oh, ooh, a new world, H047C. Okay, no fancy name for that one. Ellen in a new world. You have two more planets to go look at. That was story-based. That wasn't anything to do with the, with the settlement thing here. So where do I need to go for this thing then? I'm at the Tempest. No calls. In the escape pod room, as usual. Wait. What 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 exile said that? What there's no exile on my ship, is there? Who stowed away? Oh god, they've been they've been waiting to breathe for weeks. Mission funds, 205. I'm doing good. I'm kind of saving up my mission funds so that I can I can uh equip the team with the best things so that they're they're gonna be good for pretty much anything. But I require how many points do I require? 250 <laughs> to get my effectiveness raised by 20. I don't know if that's how it works, but I've never actually bought it and I want to buy it so bad. And we're so close to that number now. Okay, well, let's see. Yikes. Oh, that's a silver. No wonder. So the one that's that one and 
There we go. Oh no, there's, there's everything over here too. Let me collect all my rewards. I do have one cryopod perk available. That requires a Varl. Eos Vold. Viability of 90% required on Kadara. So we have some Kadara stuff here. Increases the amount of raw materials and consumables that can be purchased from traders. Ooh. Oh, but I need either this one or this one. Oh, better inventory capacity. Yes, please. Didn't even have to look that far. I'm going to my emails. Pathfinder, you have new email. I'm going to my emails in my own room. Oh, Kora's heard about some information about the Asari Ark. Check my email and respond to Reyes. Oh boy. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go to the bottom. Oh, that's so many. <laughs> Somebody. This sounds bad, kid. To writer from Drac, I thought I'd show you what Struck sent me—a transcript of an audio log that got me worried about the colony. Uh, sounds like Mortis cooking up something. Don't know what to think. Stop arguing with me, Brank. It's payback time for the initiative. Uh, they don't care about us, but they will. Soon they're gonna know that I'm Overlord, and once I execute my plan, there'll be no denying that the Krogan rule Helios. Then they'll come begging to us. Okay, Morta, I'll get a team together. Gather everything we need. No Krogan bows to the next bows down to the Nexus again. Uh, what's that? What's gonna happen there? Matriarch credits. It was a scam. Do me a favor, no tell Vetro, okay? Wait, oh. Last time I was on Kadar, I met this Asari at Kralas who said she'd let me in on a little score. Apparently there's this matriarch who came in over on the Nexus. Only she died in stasis. My contact says she's in line for the old lady's credits. A lot of credits. And get this, she says she'll split them with me. Trouble is there's red tape, transfer fees, and she's having trouble mustering up the credits to clear them. Ask me if I could cover the transfer cost. I tried to bring Vretta in on this, but she says it's a scam. I'm not so sure. Seems like a pretty good opportunity for me. Oh, you got Nigerian prince scammed. A diplomatic meeting. The Nexus Cultural Exchange. Uh, we are currently hosting the first Hangar ambassador to the Nexus, Isa de Navarre. Despite the importance of your duties, we hope your next return to the station will coincide with this visit. Cordial meeting between the Pathfinder to first reach Aya and the Ngaran Ambassador could set the tone for our relations in the future. Haven't I already met them? About Kadara. Oh, God. They're so... Uh, <laughs> I could have used this before going there. One of my friends from Kadara sent me a list of tips for surviving there. It's mostly common sense, but there are some gems. No one knows who the charlatan is. Asking's dangerous. Be really careful dealing with Sloane and anyone who works for her. Politics and Kadara are less about who's got the biggest stick and more about who's willing to use the sticks they have in creative ways. There's a hole in the wall place in the slums that makes the best cup of Keola. Do not mix Keola with other stimulants, no matter what anyone says. Humans only. Don't ask Umi the bartender to surprise you. We heard that one when we were in the when we were in Krala's song, and someone was like, surprise. They were like, the last person that did that ended up covered in blood. Spread the word around Tartarus, and I... And in port of your expert handling of the row car. I only made a few embellishments and left out my involvement, of course. One want to steal your spotlight, Reyes. Okay, that's for helping him with the, the murder. Another interviewer. All right, let's mark that down. So next time we go to the Nexus, we have an interview. Oh, boy. From Zadera Nix. Uh, this is Zadera Vetra's sister, but everyone calls me Sid. I know this isn't following protocol, because who am I to contact a Pathfinder through their personal console, right? But I know Vetra will tell me I'm overreacting, and I swear I wouldn't do this unless I thought it was something suspicious. There's just stuff going on here that doesn't really add up, and people are getting hurt. It's hard to explain. Can we talk in person? I'm in operations. Thanks. Sid. Ooh. We had another email about Sid. Please see me. Captain Don Hyperion deck. Sensitive matter. We haven't heard from her since we landed at the Nexus. I must be brief, but I hear my virus was a success, and Sam is disconnected. Excellent news. 
We should talk in person. I've included the nav point for our sanctuary on Kadara. The virus is only a first step. You could be a strong ally in future efforts. Night. Ooh. All right. So this is from the person that hacked that, uh, gave us that Trojan horse to try to take care of Sam and hack that Avena console. Way back when. In your debt, sellers. I wanted to send my appreciation for clearing my dear friend Sanji's name. I hate to imagine the ordeal he was subjected to by the exiles who took him. But it is my heart good to know that he will be remembered as a faithful member of this incredible endeavor and not a traitor. Perhaps now I can finally put the Nexus revolts behind me and start looking to the future. Yours, sellers. Who's... Who? <laughs> Who is this? Acknowledge? I had diplomatic efforts. When we left our old home, we never planned on having to negotiate with an alien civilization for a new one. It's vital we placate the Angara and keep him on our side. We've opened an embassy on Aya, and our diplomatic team is already settling in. I'm counting on you to ensure our success. You've established ties with the resistance leader, Moshai, and Aya's governor. Do all you can to learn everything about them and their supporters. The better we understand Aya's political structure, the more successful we'll be gaining their help colonizing Helios. From Tan. Alright, so you have to go to Aya for that. Ryder, I'm hearing rumors that scavengers found pieces of an Ark on a planet called Elodin. Might be nothing but worth checking out. Avidus, ooh! That's the Turian Ark. Something interesting just fell into my lap. Call me when you have a minute. Reyes. All right, that's about that. Meeting with Axul. Jal expressed that you wish to meet with Axul. It's been a long time since he and I spoke. You are so changed by the Ket, it was difficult to talk to him. But perhaps enough time has passed, and together we can reason with him. I've arranged a meeting at my laboratory on Aya. Please come in your earliest convenience. Isn't Oxul the leader of the Rokar? Sid. An encrypted message came from Sid. She says she wants to talk to us. Sounds urgent. I'm going to need you for this one, so swing by when you can. Vetra. Asari Ark. Had a breakthrough on the location of the Asari Ark. Please come talk to me in the Tempest ASAP. Cora. Oh boy, we're getting a lot of these things now. Night on the town. I still don't know who Sellers was, and I'm so confused. Call Reyes. Okay. Contagion? An act an initiative six citizen with an incurable disease has been awakened from stasis. Eww. The firefighters. It's on Kadara. Path of a hero. Speak to Carrie about Kadara. You know what? I think we'll call it. Wait, 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 wait. Go back down. Go back down. I have to. I have to read the message board. I have to read the message board in the, in the crew quarters. I think next episode might be the final one we do on Kadar for a while, because I think we'll finally be able to set up that settlement. Well, there's also one other thing we have to take care of on, on Kadara. Also, people here really want to chat. Lost and found. Hot patch gun. Lost this from my workbench yesterday, and I'm really hoping it didn't fall through the deck plating. Gil. Comments. I borrowed it to fix a loose hole in my loose sole in my boot. I'm almost done. Liam, can I grab that quickly after? I need to patch a strap. Cora. Oh, the pilot seat cushion just needs a quick fix, too. Callow. It would really help a rickety shelf I've got down here. Vetra. I built another hot patch gun. You guys can fight over that one. Gil. <laughs> and Garn, word of the day, Gosan. To cling or to grasp, say Gosan. Uh, see, Gosan Yav Yavdar, being stubborn, clinging to a rock. See, Gosavar, the resistance, Jal. So the resistance means stubborn, picketed people. PB. That would be Gosavara. And yes. <laughs> All right, a lot of people need our help all of a sudden. We're not done on Kadara yet. So we're going to be heading back there very soon. It might take us two episodes to get the get the uh, Kadara uh, situated in the settlement there and then deal with the other thing. The giant, the giant uh, robot snake thing that we have to deal with. So that's going to do it for this episode. Is the thunder stop? I don't hear anything right now. Maybe it's safe outside now. 
and it didn't crash. No power outages, yay. So on the next episode of Mass Effect Andromeda, oh God, I'm looking at the map, it's worse. Uh, we'll be heading back down to Kadara, going to go talk with Reyes, finding this firefighter's base as well, and hopefully settling Kadara finally. So until next time, hopefully you enjoy. Thank you.